Hi everyone, this is Miss Sarah. I saw this really adorable picture today on the internet, this guy right here, and I thought of my friend Alex, how much he loves red pandas and drawing red pandas. So today we are going to draw a red panda. All right, I'm excited, here we go. So the first thing we wanna do is just kind of plan out what this red panda is gonna look like, and we're gonna sketch it out over our paper so we can kind of get you know, a rough layout of where everything's going to be. So up here in the upper left corner, I want to draw kind of like a circle-ish, but it's like a squash circle. It's a little flatter on the top. That's going to be how big his head is. Then I'm going to draw like a little sketch, so very lightly, kind of a long oval shape, right? And that's his body. And then for his tail, it's kind of a long oval again that comes to a point on the end. Okay, so that gives me the main shape of our um, panda. We'll add a little leg, front leg, back leg, and I'm not going to worry about the legs on the other side of his body yet, but I am going to put a rough sketch of where I think this log is or branch that he's sitting on. Right? Awesome. Let's get started. So I'm going to start over here on his face. And towards the bottom, kind of in the bottom corner, I'm going to do a little tiny diamond shape. See that diamond? Now I'm going to round off the corners of the diamond and fill it all in in black. That is going to be our little guy's nose. Okay. Now I want our little panda to be happy. So as I draw the little line down, this line is shorter than the actual nose itself. I'm going to curve up the corner of his mouth just a little bit. Now, because he's turned away from us, this second side of his mouth, the farther side, is going to angle backwards a little bit, and it's going to be shorter. That may look funny at first, but when we get perspective of where he's looking, that's what's going on there. Okay, that's why it's shorter. Now we're going to add two eyeballs. So the first eyeball, I'm going to go right above the edge of his mouth, Go up, 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 up just a little bit until I'm a little bit higher than the nose. And I'm going to angle it back. Okay, this is kind of like a 45 degree angle. I'm going to zoom in closer to the face. And we are going to make kind of like an almond shape. And we're going to make a... So almond shape means that both of those corners come together to little points. Then I'm going to make an eyelid because our panda looks kind of tired in this picture. Then I'm going to draw in his eye. Now instead of doing a pupil and an iris, I'm going to do a reflection and color in the whole thing. Awesome. All right, let's do the other eye. So once again, we lined up the first eye with the edge of the mouth. We're going to line up the second eye with the edge of the mouth. Now I know this is much closer to the nose, but it's okay because we are doing a turned perspective, right? His face is angling this way, not looking towards us. So I'm going to line up the two eyes, the corner of the eyes, so they're on the same horizontal plane. They're the, right across from each other. And then I'm going to go straight up from the corner of his mouth. There we go. There's the corner of the eye. Now, because this eye is turned away from us, we're going to make it smaller. So it's going to angle the opposite direction, but it's going to be much smaller. So again, an almond shape opposite direction, about the same angle. We'll give it a little eyelid, and then we're going to color in a big black eye with a reflection, and to make a reflection, we just leave some of it not colored in. Ooh, there we go. We have our two eyes. Okay, so now we're going to start making the, the whiskers, which are really pronounced in these pandas. So we're going to make, um, right underneath the reflection of the eye, we're going to make some squigglies. We're going to go until we're underneath, quite a bit underneath the mouth, okay? Then we're going to do the opposite on the other side, or the same thing on the other side, right? Now let's give him a little chin. Cute little panda chin. Oops. So he's got a little chin. Now we're going to make these whiskers really big. So I'm going to reach out. I'm going to go past my sketch circle. And... I'm going to zigzag the outside, okay? Same thing. Now, this one's not going to go as far because, again, he's turned away from us. So, again, we're just going to go past our sketch circle. So, out, 
and then zigzag it down to the bottom and bring it back in. There's his whiskers. So I'm going to close this in on his, where it connects with his chin, make sure everything's connected. Now, pandas also have really cute eyebrows. So just in a little bit from the corner of his eye, I'm going to come up around, and again, we'll zigzag, and then come right underneath the outside. So right inside the inside, right outside the outside, okay? Same over here. I'm going to go right inside the inside eye to outside the outside eye, and we're just going to go up and then zigzag, zigzag, zigzag in. Nice. I love it. Then they also have one more marking on the inside, which we're going to outline right now. Kind of like a hot dog shape. A hot dog shape that's hugging those burry, frisky, furry eyebrows we just made. Awesome sauce. On the very edge of the head, we're going to put some ears. So we're going to go, if you follow the angle of the eye, okay, so I start at the nose, I follow the angle of the eye, I'm going to put the ear right over there. And they have round ears like this. And then we're going to follow the angle from the nose to the eyes. And we'll put his other ear out here. Again, it's smaller because it's behind us. Now, as I close in his head, I'm just going to give it a little bit of movement. It's not a straight line. Just a little bit of movement. And I'm going to connect the top of his head with some movement. Now we have his head. Ah, that's my favorite part. I believe he has whiskers. Let's give the red panda some whiskers to go with his big whiskers. Now we're going to look at the whole body. Now the whole body is fairly simple. So I'm just going to follow from the top of his head. I'm going to follow that oval I made earlier. And if you want to change your oval, now's the time. We're going to down here to his tush. I'm just going to go all the way around until I get to the first leg. Once I get to the first leg, I'm going to bring it back above and we'll just swoop it down. Very simple legs. Now I can erase that original sketch line. That was part of his tummy because his legs in front of it. Over here, let's do his front leg. He's just laying down, hanging out, relaxing. Okay. Now the picture that we started this from, he's laying on a branch. Okay. So I'm going to draw the branch right here underneath his chin. He is all the way on that branch. Okay. We're going to follow the branch underneath. So his body is just kind of hugging the branch. See how that works? Then we'll follow the branch underneath his body over here. You want to stop when you get to the tail though. Let's finish his tummy. So I'm going to follow that line. Just hanging out, relaxing. Look how happy he looks. Now we want to do is um, the legs that are farthest from us. They're going to face the back legs right here. There we go. See how they're hanging on the other side of the branch? Easy peasy. Now, red panda tails are pretty fun too. I'm going to do the same kind of zigzaggy-ish line. We don't want it to be completely smooth. I'm going to come out and just kind of zigzag. Just a little tiny texture to it. Oops, there you go. Just kind of zigzag it down. And they have these great stripes on their tail. So I'm going to fill in the stripes like this. And then later when you're coloring it, you can color those stripes a darker red or orange. Okay, now I'm going to finish my branch. So remember, when something goes behind, you follow it with your pencil. You just don't let your pencil touch the paper. It's just hovering and then continue it. And then I'm going to say top of the branch is right about here. Boom! We have our red panda.